Okay, we're back. Theater's rinsed out. So I'll go ahead and put this over with the syrup for now. Chase the bees out of the feeder box. Now let's look at a couple of frames here. Start at the west side of the hive. This was new comb, new foundation a week ago. On the outside edge, you're just starting to pull a little bit of comb. Next frame, pulling a little bit of comb there in the center. Third frame in, even more comb being drawn. Pretty even clear across the board and on both sides. Cells look to be about a quarter inch deep at this point. As you can see the bees are starting to poke their heads out above the above the frames. We'll give them a good squirt, chase them back down. Here's the fourth from the edge. Again drawing comb Nothing in the comb. Since they're drawing comb so heavy here, I am going to feed them again. And here's one of the center frames. See, I don't know, it doesn't look like, looks like they're depositing some, some nectar. And here I don't see any eggs they're doing. No, I don't see any eggs. I just see some liquid at the bottoms of the cells. The fifth frame over looks much the same. We'll chase them back down into the frames again. Twenty years ago when I had hives, I used smoker. In class this year I learned about just using a sprayer. Here this, some of this comb is nearly drawn out and they're depositing nectar in it. As I look down through the rest of the frames I just see pretty much the same pattern working out toward a decreased or nearly non-drawn comb. They're just starting to draw a little wax on this comb here. So we'll pop this hive off, this body off, take a look what's underneath. Now that wind is coming back, blowing the splatter back toward me, but we'll see what happens. We just set that there. Expectation is to see brood in this. A week, or, a little over a week ago, when I was in here, I had some of the outer comb foundation had not been drawn. They're just starting to draw this one, but it did move one frame of egg up at that point in time. Here they're drawing more, more of the comb. See more of the foundation being drawn out there as well. Still looks empty of anything but just fresh wax. This next frame looks a little more promising, more bee activity on it. I see nectar starting to be deposited that as they finish drawing the comb. Now here's the inside for the center of the hive. Basically, it's about a 
horse full of nectar and otherwise growing thumb. You can see it's a little bit of bird thumb here in the bottom. I'll just leave that as is. Slide this back in here. I'm going to take this outer frame out for space. Really nothing remarkable about it or this next one. Chase all those bees, most of them off. Let's start to rattle them up a little bit. So we'll chase them back off the top of the frames. With the spray. It's basically just a one-to-one -one sugar water spray. Here's a frame we did not look at. This would be the fourth one in. And I have a little bit of honey bee healthy in the mixture. I see some pollen, some nectar. I'm empty here in the center, pollen and nectar around it, but I don't really see eggs in the center. Okay, now here we have capped comb at the top. We see some nectar below that. Some empty cells with some larva, some more mature larva. Again, I don't see any egg in here. It's uncapped larva. But it does look like they've grown a batch of eggs. I see some cells that are I know that they're covering up a cell here. Right here you can see they're covering, closing up a cell over top of some larva, getting ready for them to hatch out. They go into their pupa stage, let's say. So here's one of the center frames. As you can tell, I'm working barehanded, short sleeve, so we'll give them no reason to become aggressive at me as I break into their home. Okay, capped larva in the center, uncapped larva. And I might see some egg in there. This is good. This suggests the queen is in the upper hive in the second hive box since there's fresh egg there. I've not yet seen the queen in this hive. There's a possibility that a minor accident a week ago may have killed the queen, but it looks like there's egg in here, so I'm, I must have been fortunate. A little bit of drone cells at the bottom, but, but otherwise both of these sides of this frame seem to be fully capped brood for the most part. This, I believe, is the frame that I moved up. Now here's the fourth frame from the middle on the other side. Now let's see, where can I pick it up here? Courage and move away from my fingers. Okay. Brood in various stages, a couple were capped. Egg are seen in this area right over here. I don't know if you can see this. This tells me the queen has been recently in the frame. I don't know if you can see little white tiny specks. About four times as long as they are wide. And that length is like a sixteenth of an inch or less. And over here you can see some uncapped larva. You can see some nectar glistening there in the center. Along with some larva that are uncapped. Look on the other side here. A lot of capped brood. About a fourth of the frame is capped brood. Perhaps we'll see the queen on one of these frames. This end is mostly larva. And I'm not sure what's at this end. Put this back in here. Queen's either working between the two layers or else she's working primarily on this top one. Go ahead and pull this frame out. 
give them a little more drench. Keep them uninterested in me. Uh, that's, I like it that way. A little bit of burr comb on the bottom here. Some drone cones, some capped larvae. Nectar and pollen toward me, nectar away from me, some pollen over there. Couple of drone moving around in the so on this side I see some nectar toward either end of the center empty cells with egg. Eggs are the center portion, the center third of this frame is pretty much completely filled with egg. This is good. This is very good. They're drawing comb. Probably four or five of the frames were totally undrawn a week ago. They're drawing wax out here. Getting a little bit of nectar in the center of this side. Put it back in. And the tenth frame over here, they're just starting to work and drawing some wax. What I'm going to do is once I turn off the camera, I'm going to go get my queen excluder and put between these two boxes and then wherever I see in about a week, wherever I see egg, I will know the queen is in that box. I hope she's migrated up because this is a frame, a medium, and a spacer for a deep to accommodate the deeps that were the part of the deep nuke that I got to populate this hive. So we'll just... Yeah, they're a little excitable. So let's make them a little more docile. The one flying around will probably get the idea before he decides he needs to sting me. Before she needs to sting me. Drones don't sting, I understand. Just the girls. And when they sting, of course, they lose their life. Because they, the stinger rips out of their body. So for this season, and hence for the for my new venture in beekeeping, uh, I've only been stung once because I let a bee get tra trapped between my hive tool and my finger, and the tool shifted, and the bee saw no recourse except to let me know that she was there and didn't want to be. Center these up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and close up the hive right now. Put this back on here. I hear a crunch. Sorry about that little bee. But you're no longer caring about that, are you? I'm going to put the feeder box back on and give it a good downward jolt. Get the bees off of there. What I want to do is get these all enclosed in here. Because when I put the feeder in, the bees will be below the feeder. The wire mesh here keeps the bees out. I'm going to go fill the feeder with my syrup. Powdered sugar. Next one to one. Probably about two and a half gallons. a few bees on the top board. What I'm going to do temporarily is just prop that by the hive entrance. They'll crawl off of it. When they bring the queen excluder back, 
I will also move that top cover back up over here. And in the meantime, we'll put a little twig under the front of the top cover to let them ventilate a little bit. Okay.